What's going on out there, YouTube? This is SEL0220. See this huge smile on my face? Believe it or not, it's not about Grand Theft Auto. It's not about the footage that we shot yesterday for the new dance time. It is actually about a movie called Gravity. Okay, so when I first saw the first trailer with Sandra Bullock and uh, George Clooney stars in the movie Gravity, I looked, I saw Sandra Bullock, and I saw her freaking out because the shuttle that they were on gets destructed and she's just floating out into space. And um, it, it reminded me of this movie back a long time ago. It's this wife and this husband, and they got stranded out at sea for hours, and there was no hope for them, and I think one of them died. And I was like, I don't want to see Sandra Bullock just drifting in space this whole entire time, like, freaking out. Because, one, when you think about, like, anxiety and, like, stress like that, I mean, what you going to do? Drifting out in space like that. But this movie, it, it played me like a fiddle, y'all. I highly recommend looking at this movie. I haven't even talked about the movie yet, but I'm telling you, go see it. The 3D is amazing. It's worth seeing in 3D IMAX. I didn't even get to see it in 3D IMAX. I just saw it in regular 3D. Me and my friend... Uh, we were just uh, eating at Panera Bread, and we were joking around. We were uh, talking about some uh, different things, and uh, we were like, man, let's try to see this movie. And so we went and saw it, and uh, we we were like 15 minutes late, and the movie was still epic. Um, I highly recommend it. I haven't talked about it yet, I know, um, but yeah, anyway, we'll go ahead into how I normally do it. Y'all know me. So I'm talking about the visual effects, and I talk about... Um, the 3D, how that impacted, and the the musical score. There really wasn't a score, y'all. I mean, space itself is very violent, dark, and, I mean, there was no need for really any kind of music, but the sound effects. When you hear, like, somebody, like, thump against, a, like, a, a cylinder on the space shuttle, or you see somebody, like, crying or weeping, or you hear something out in the distance, and, I mean, space is just totally different. So my, my concept of how space would sound, they, they nailed it to a T. And everything about how they portrayed uh, the visual effects in this one, it, it made it so believable, y'all. I, I can't even express it, y'all. I, I, there's times where I look at Sandra Bullock when she's one time, she's inside of a space shuttle, and there's a fire going on. And it was funny because... Me and my friend, we were talking about, goodness gracious, a fire. We were just joking around. Sure enough, in the space shuttle, this is spoiler alert, there's a fire that goes on in one of the shuttles. And you see Sandra Bullock's character uh, in zero-G gravity, like, going through. And I can't tell what's CG and what's not. It looks so on point. And the 3D, it just it magnifies so much exponentially because you see all these different things that are floating through as she is moving. And it's just so amazing to see, y'all. Uh, so the visual effects for this one, I, I've never even seen anything like this close to Avatar. Um, I, I have to go and research back. I'm probably going to have to do another review. I wanted to get y'all out something quick based on my expression, based on how I feel, based on how happy it's made me. Uh, but the visual effects are just amazing. Um, it, it blew my mind, and I'd highly recommend seeing it in 3D. I'm going to go see it in 3D IMAX tomorrow, uh, most likely. Um, as far as the sound effects, the, just the sound effects, not, it wasn't a music score in my opinion, but the sound effects were just amazing. They were on point. So going into the acting, so, I mean, the only two actors that I was there to see, after <laughs> the 15 minutes that I missed, I don't even know who was in the beginning of the movie. All I know is that something went down, some people died, and Sandra Bullock and George Clooney were drifting in space. That was the only thing that I saw. And so between them two, they carried most of the whole entire movie. And so, I mean, first I'll talk about George Clooney's character. George Clooney's character, I really loved his character in this. Normally, like, he plays either one extreme or a dull extreme. And this one, it was just a subtle mix of both, but he played a professional astronaut. He kept his calm. He knew how to interact. He knew his stuff. And he knew how to keep people alive. And his leadership skills and his different things that he just does, it will blow you away as far as what he has to go on. I mean, most of his performance, I can't even necessarily see him except for here. And, I mean, he has to play it through his voice. He has to play it through his emotion. He has to play it through his tone. And when you think about somebody that's freaking out, 
and then somebody that's not, I mean, when you're drifting in space, this is the worst scenario ever, but, I mean, he keeps his heart about him. There's like a heart to his character that really, it blends the movie very well, and it makes the movie very balanced. If he wasn't there, I don't even know if Sandra Bullock's character would have made such an impact like it did um, based on the things and the actions they have to go through. And so I really like George Clooney in this. I mean, normally, I mean, Lord God forbid, <laughs> Batman and Robin, I was, you know, I, I'm not going to go there. But, I mean, so many other movies like Ocean's Eleven and Ocean's Franchise and all these other kind of movies that he's been in before previously. I mean, he's a great actor, but this one, it showed it. I mean, I, I don't know if anybody's seen Solaris. And, I mean, that movie was so confusing to me, but this one was actually <laughs> it was actually on target. I could understand everything that he was trying to do and everything that he's trying to portray in his character. Um so, I mean, I really liked his character in this one. And Sandra Bullock's character, uh, who plays the character Ryan, and she's the main star, she blows it away, y'all. She 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 blows it away. Um, I mean, of course, she's got the Academy Award, what, two years ago. Um, but this one, y'all, she has to go through so many extremes. And, I mean, a lot of actors, they have to go through a strain of weight loss and uh, weight gain and... Uh, physical like turbulence as far as like with action scenes or non-action scenes and with this she has to do all of that I mean I see her at, for one point like just severely hurt I see her crying and weeping I see her emotionally distressed I see her happy I see her like, having to physically like take care of herself and I, I, I don't know at times where it feels like CG and times it feels like they're doing motion capture and I feel like a lot of it was done in motion capture. And if I, I, I want to bet, and I'm going to go back and do a review later once I research this movie more, but I want to bet they actually probably did some tunneling underwater to actually shoot a lot of these scenes and just did a green screen background for the water effects. And it, as though with water, it gives that weightlessness kind of feel. And that's what, with her movements, like the way that they captured that well, I mean, I have to believe that it has to be like clear water. But I, I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna check on it more later, but she blew it. She blew me away. Uh, this, to me, probably was one of her best uh, performances. And I mean, she's uh, East Carolina University grad. East Carolina University is in Greenville, North Carolina. I graduated from there. And uh, Sandra, props to you. I mean, I really loved her performance in this. And this movie was so much more than what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be she's just drifting into space and she's hopeless and stuff like that. And to agree she is, but it's a fight, and it's a good one. <laughs> it's insane. And so, I mean, for her performance, I have to give her a 10 out of 10. George's performance, based on my personal perspective, I'd have to give him a 10, but I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 just because he's done other roles uh, that uh -huh. I can't necessarily talk about um, from my expertise from it. Um, but, I mean, the acting was just awesome. And I, that's just those two. I have to go back and see it again to talk about the other people. I don't know. I mean, I saw people dead. That was like... <laughs> anyway, getting into the story. The story, like, kind of how they show it in the trailers is exactly what happens. I mean, there's no dream sequence. There's no faking. There's no, like, this takes place in the future where jetpacks can keep you alive. No. I mean, you have space. You have the dead cold of space. You have gravity that can pull you in or generate you out. And then you also have meteorological effects that maybe could be like <laughs> different like ripples or debris or meteors or whatever that you have to worry about on a consistent basis. And it's just so crazy because with the Earth's gravitational pull, stuff just comes back around that they have to deal with before. <clears throat> And, I mean, the way they did her character without going into so much detail of her background, without going into too much detail of George Clooney's background, without going into, like, who these people were, they talk about who they are now and what these events are doing to, to shift their uh, mentality and their mortality, their thoughts of life and death. And it's depicted very well, y'all. I mean... I, I can't say it's necessarily even a story. It feels like it's kind of a life event that's transpiring with these characters. 
And, I mean, I'm just taken for the ride. And, I mean, even towards the very end, you do not know, ultimately, what's going to happen. Um, all that I can say is I really enjoyed the story, and I didn't think I would. This is one movie this summer that I didn't think I would. I mean, Sleeper Hits this summer, for me, were kick-ass, too. Now You See Me. And now this one, Gravity, actually, to me, uh, actually ranks up with Star Trek and Fast and Furious for me. And, I mean, I know y'all know that Man of Steel is probably my favorite movie this summer, but as far as effects and visuals, this may be the best one this summer, period. I mean, I've never seen anything like some of the things that I've seen. I have to, if I have to sit there and think what's real and what's not, when I see somebody floating, <laughs> like, in zero-G, I mean, there, there are zero-G, like, environmental, uh, I think, machines that they actually have built to be able to do stuff like that. But that's not, I know for a fact, that's not what I'm seeing based on the effects that were around. So, I mean, it fooled me. It, it, it literally, it was so good that it fooled me. From the story, from the characters, from you, I mean, I did not doubt that this was actually happening. And, I mean, I, I was even thinking, I was like, is this, is this based on true events? <laughs> but anyway, go see this movie. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments. You see how happy I am. Part of how happy I am, I enjoyed it with one of my coolest friends, and we both were just blown away by it. Like, uh, it was it was real cool movie, and you got to go see it. <laughs> That's all I got. SEL030 signing out. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. Deuces.